Take all the parts out. Okay, so now I'm going to adjust the feet so that we can then fit them to the bottom of the side frames. So we just wind down the retaining nut. And then into the middle hole and just wind in. Same with this one, into the middle hole. And same with this one. Again, into the middle hole. If we, we lift them up, and put them the right way round, which is that way. And then we're gonna, two side frames. So one on the left, one on the right. So you just offer them up. If we do one first and then the other, it's probably easier. So we tip it on this side, that's it. Back to the, to the so, and we'll just do these finger tight to start with, so we've got a little bit of clay on the frame. So, bolt, washer, and a nut. So, screw from the back. And again, just finger tight. So just remember to keep these bolts loose so you've got a little bit of play and then you can move the top section slightly for when you locate the flatbed on top. And then we're gonna just put the screws through that locate to the frame. So we need to remove the four feet so that it fits on top of the frame. So we're gonna move the head gently all the way to its stop. 
Then we're going to remove the green mat. And if two of you gently tip it that way and then up, we can then gain access to the four feet. Okay, so if two of you lift it up gently and then place it on top of the frame, should feel the location to you slightly. And then if one of you guides it while the other one gets under and puts the four screws in. So by having the frame loose, it gives you a bit more play for when lining these up. Thank you. You can use a fin allen key just to make sure your hole's there. Now we can go around and tighten the frame up with the supplied spanner. Oh. Okay, so we now place the mat back. As you can see, zero, zero goes into the bottom left hand corner. Just be careful when you slide it in, that you don't hit the sensor underneath. And it just butts up and then you just push it down into place. Okay, so we're now gonna fit the silencer onto the fan unit. So if we pull the control cable out, and then what we find is it's best to add a bit of grease, a bit of Vaseline, which will be nice and easy. I'm just gonna put some onto the thread. So just help if you ever need to replace the silencer. Okay. And then it just offer it up and gently find the bite. And then just screw it in. Just hand tight. There we go. That's plenty. Okay, so then the hose just pushes onto the fan unit there. We then got the connector that fits into the flatbed. Just goes straight into the side frame here. Wind that in by hand, so hand tight. And the other end of the fan suction hose just pushes on, like so. Okay. So you have the control cable for the fan unit, which will fit into here underneath. Locate the three pins, push up, and we then just twist that on so it's locked in place. So now we've got it connected, we can move the fan just slightly out of the way to wherever you, you want it to go. If we get two power cables, you'll need one for the fan unit, which pushes in the back there. And you've got a trip switch here, so that needs to be up. And then a second power for the flatbed, just pushes it into the side. So we're now ready to power up the unit. So you push the button on the side. 
I'm going to ask you to press enter, so keep your hands clear of the carriage. And you're now ready to calibrate your flatbed.